All right. Um, having, after having an opportunity to you know evaluate the game uh, from last week, uh, you know it, it, was, it was about what we thought. We saw some really positive things, and, and we saw a lot that we need to work on. Uh, I think the exciting thing is, uh, again, you know, we feel like we can continue uh, to get better with this team, and uh, you know, obviously, we go from a home opener to uh, a really tough challenge on the road uh, uh, against Michigan State, and you know, I, I think that there's a lot of positives that come with this game. You know, one. You know, we're on national television in November, uh, and, I, and I don't know what the stat on that would be, but uh, that's that's great exposure for us. And I, it hadn't happened since I've been here. I at least know that, and and uh, I think that's good for our program. And you know, we're going against a, a team that you know obviously is a terrific team, but I think more important that we're going against a program uh, that has the kind of program that you know we're trying to be. Uh, you know, it's done it uh, by building it and uh, been incredibly consistent, uh, committed to a style of play. You know, recruits a certain type of kid. Uh, mainly regional and just you know a lot of a lot of things that we want to be with our program and uh, it's going to be a tremendous challenge for our team but uh, something that we're extremely excited about and looking forward to and uh, you know we, we will be uh, full go uh, finally everybody's available Demontre will be back after his one game suspension uh, Carlton Gathers probably will not play um, you know right now we're we're in mode where we're considering a red shirt for Carlton uh, he's a young man that came in. Uh, with some knee issues and, and has had some nagging knee and foot stuff uh, here over, uh, you know, really since he's been here. And so uh, that's something we're evaluating with. I, I doubt that he'll be used. But uh, other than that, we're full go for the first time, which is, is also something that's positive. Because your team is so young, do you want them to be a little starstruck so they kind of learn where you want the program to go? Or do you try to get them to not be so starstruck? Well, I, I think, you know, we try to get them ready to play like, like we would on, on any game. Uh, you know, and I think obviously that's something that's a factor. We've got a, a group that hasn't been in that situation at all. And uh, again, one of the great things about this game is uh, we'll be in a lot of tough venues against a lot of really good teams this year. But I don't know that anybody will be any tougher, or any venue will be any any tougher uh, than the one we're playing in on Tuesday night. And so, from that standpoint, it's going to be a great experience. But you know, absolutely, that's something that that is a factor in, in some ways, as much as our opponent is just you know the environment that uh, you know we've got a lot of people. Uh, that haven't been a part of, and, and this this particular team as a mix has not been a part of. Seems like you guys kind of started the trend last year where you beat number one Kentucky, and then all of a sudden it seemed to come full circle baseball, football. And now, are you guys kind of feeding off the football team? Well, I mean, I, I think what's happening is that you know we're, we're finding that when you when you build something and you're committed to, to doing it step by step and and uh, you know believe in what you're doing, that you know positive things can happen. Uh, you know, we said that from day one, and we're fortunate to have had a couple of big wins and. Obviously, uh, you know, baseball has been doing that for a long time with Ray. And, uh, you know, five, six years later, you know, look what we can do uh, you know, with football with a, with a coach that was already proven that we knew was great. So, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, those are all positives. And uh, anytime one of us is having success, I think it's a positive and it's something that all of us can build on. So we're, we're really proud of football and, and uh, coach and uh, what they've been able to accomplish and uh, are behind them all the way, not, not, not just in Atlanta, but uh, in, the next, in the next few games as well. Historically, Darren, there's always a couple of upsets in these first couple of weeks of the season. There wasn't one last weekend. Right. I mean, have you stressed that to your guys that, you know, maybe you guys can be the first big upset of the year? Yeah, not really. Uh, not in terms of us being, you know, the, that, that team as much as just, let, hey, let, let's get prepared to play like we normally would. And it isn't an unbelievable opportunity. Uh, absolutely, it would be. But, you know, we're not going to have a chance to pull that off if we don't prepare the right way and, and don't stay focused on little things throughout the game uh, that are going to give us an opportunity. Uh, to win, and so I mean, I think our guys are aware of that. Obviously, but that's not that's not something that we're stressing because you know we, we've got to prepare to play and then perform throughout the game in order to give ourselves an opportunity to actually actually have an upset. How important is it for you as a coach to have this measuring stick game, you know, so early in the season, you make all these adjustments before the SEC season? Yeah, you know, I, I don't even know that it's a measuring stick. Uh, you know, I mean, again, we're talking about a program uh, that we're facing that's been doing it for 12 years and is incredibly established uh, with a ton of experience and. You know, we're in, in our third year, and as I've mentioned a bunch, you know, it kind of feels like our first year in a lot of ways uh, with a lot of guys that haven't been there in an environment they've never been in. So I don't think we're going to leave the game, win or lose, and say that, oh, okay, well, we know exactly where we are. But I think the experience of it all uh, and, and obviously the quality opponent is going to be something that is, is going to give us uh, an opportunity to, uh, you know, look at uh, what we need to do moving forward. Coach, how do you get them ready for the upgrade in opponent? I mean, you know, you go from Kentucky Wesleyan, 
um, to Elon to the number two team in the country. Yeah, I, you know, again, that's something philosophically, Andy, we've been trying to do along the way by saying, you know, that we got to play at a certain standard regardless of our opponent. Uh, because one day it's going to be Michigan State, it's going to be Kentucky, it's going to be Florida. Uh, and so that, that, that's part of it. Uh, you know, the other part is just making sure our practices are at the level uh, that we know they're going to need to be uh, in order to, to play the way we want to, to give ourselves a chance to have success. And, and at the same time, sometimes you just got to, you know, get out there and do that. But, uh, you know, Michigan State's having to do the same thing, even though, they, even though they've, uh, uh, you know, uh, got a ton of experience coming back and, and been in a lot more games than our guys have, I'm quite sure. Uh, that you know our, our our team will be different than the teams that they've played so far, and so I think some of that's part of the normal early season process. How have the practices been this week? Really good, uh, you know, really good, and uh, you know we really just had an opportunity, uh, you know, for for a couple uh, Saturday and, and, and late yesterday for a little bit, uh, but you know I think our focus has been good, and uh, you know our guys feel good about it. But you know again it's it's going out and actually uh, p- performing uh, that that's important, and, and that's what's exciting is is uh, to see how we handle that. Any matchups that you feel confident with? What's that? Any matchups with the Spartans? Well, you know, I mean, you know, for us, it's it's more of uh, you know, uh, committed to doing what we want to do and understanding what they're good at. Uh, I think I think it's more of a a team matchup in this situation uh, than it is anything individual. Because if if, if we don't do a few things well, uh, you know, on both sides of the ball that give us an opportunity to be good, you know, individual matchups aren't really going to even have an opportunity to come into play. You How did you do? Know, has been, you know, got some knees and foot issues. Is surgery an option at this point, or is it something y'all might? Well, it, it's it's not even anything like that, and and I don't want to get into to medical details because I don't, I don't want to say something that's not completely accurate. But it's it's more nagging stuff. Uh, where you know if, if we were uh, if if he had to play tomorrow could he play yeah absolutely he could play but it's just stuff that's keeping him from being his best and, and it keeps you reoccurring and something we're very sensitive to and keeping an eye on. How did this game get arranged? Uh, this was a game basically where I called ESPN and said you know we, we want to be on TV we want a great opponent and uh, you know a, a made for TV game you know again in November is something that for us I just I don't think we can pass on the experience and the exposure our program is going to get so um, you know. Uh, I may feel differently afterwards, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I still believe that this is what our program needs. You know, if you want to build a national program and uh, you want to be really good, then you know I think you have to play those games. And so uh, we've been committed to that, regardless of where we feel like our team is uh, from an experience standpoint. And, and I think tomorrow night shows that.